A webcam that's not square? Oh yes, stick around. Hey everybody, Darren Howlett, aka Reckless Roy, and today we're going to talk about a filter within OBS or Streamlabs OBS, whichever you use, they both they act the same way, um, called Image Mask and Blends. And hopefully we'll be able to pimp your um, your webcam up a little bit, get you away from the the average rectangle that everyone uses, maybe give you something a little bit different to what everyone else is using. So Basically, the, the, the way it works is you'll get your video capture device, whether it be a Logitech or a DSLR, and you'll add that source into your scene as usual. And then you'll click onto it, and we'll go onto filters, image mask and blend, and then you'll add, I guess it's a mask that you've made within Photoshop or Microsoft Paint. Paint being the most obvious one to show because everyone has that, not everyone has Photoshop. but. Yeah, basically we're going to make a black and white image and anything that's black is going to be shielded out and anything that's white is going to show through so if you want a circular webcam like at the beginning we'll make a circle if you want a a spade or you know basically any shape you can do a, a circle a spade a club a diamond <laughs> a th what you know any kind of anything that you can think of really so yeah, the, I guess the easiest way is we just dive in, go to the desktop and just show you how to make the mask. It's very, very simple. Then we'll show you how to apply it and what it looks like, maybe a couple of use cases for it, and then we'll go from there. So yeah, let's check it out. So here we are on the desktop. And as you can see, I'm already in my, my little lovely circle. Um, we're not gonna cover the, the overlay, but you know, if you already know how to make overlays, I'm sure you can make a circular overlay for yourself. So basically, once you're here, you want to go into your little search box there. You just want to type in paint. As I said, it is probably easier to do this in Photoshop, but not everybody has Photoshop, and I wouldn't suggest getting a free trial just to do this. So once you're here, you want to go, when I can find my mouse, that white is bright. You want to go to resize. You want to unclick maintain aspect ratio, and you want to put 1920 by 1080 and then OK. Mine is already, oh no, sorry, pixels uncheck maintain 1920 by 1080. Mine was already 191080 practicing before recording. So there you go. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this little paint bucket up here. You want to go, set, make sure your color set to black. Just make, make the whole thing black. It's the first thing you want to do. So then you want to decide basically on what shape you want. I'm gonna guess most commonly it's gonna be a circle, I'm guessing. So we're gonna click on the circle. We're gonna make sure that the fill color is white and white. And then we're gonna make sure that the fill is on solid color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold control whilst we click and drag. And that's false. <laughs> we wanna hold shift while we click and drag to maintain a perfect circle. And we wanna try and get it so it's near the edges but not quite on them. So it maintains the full circle. So there you go, that's just about right. There's a little lip at the top, little lip at the bottom. So if you know on your normal rectangle cam window, you're fairly central, then you want the circle to be fairly central. If you know you normally sit slightly off to the right, a central circle is, is not right. If you're slightly off to the left, that's not gonna be any good either. So position the circle, where you would normally have it so then obviously you want to do your normal file save save it to a location that you you know where it is and you're going to remember where it is so yeah, once you've done all of that i've already saved this i i did this ages ago i just thought i'd make a video just in case there's some people that didn't know so once you've done that you're going to want to open up obs so once you've finished making your mask and you've saved it and all that good stuff and you've closed off paint so you want to go back to your desktop, you want to open up OBS, which I've already done here, and you want to basically find the scene that you're going to have it applied onto. I'm guessing more than likely going to be a live screen, I'm, I'm guessing. So once you've got onto the screen you want to be on, I've got the YouTube one set up just so that I'm not messing with any of my regular scenes for when I'm streaming. So ignore this folder, this is just so that I can go, da-da, this is what it will look like at the end without having to mess about whilst I'm recording. So but the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your little plus, 
and you're gonna to want to add in a video capture device. Mine is already here because I have it set up on other scenes. So we're just gonna add in this one. We're gonna make sure that it is transformed fit to screen. There it is. Oh, that's big, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> so once, once we're there, we're then going to right click on it and we're gonna to go to filters. Then we're gonna go plus. We're gonna to go to image mask and blend. And then we're going to browse here and we're going to find where we saved it last time. I know it says Pentagon Mask. I don't know why it says Pentagon Mask. But basically, when you apply this, anything that is black is going to be covered. Anything that is white is going to show through. So we add that in there. I leave everything else alone. Make sure it's on the alpha mask. I'm guessing if you change that, it will do different masks. But yeah, leave it on there and done. And just like that, we are in a circle. It is that simple. So just so that you can see as well that it's not just a black background. We just go and no, we don't add an image. We'll add a color source. Just any old color source. We'll go like this and we'll stretch this over and we'll drop it down and there you go. So the black that you were seeing around it just then wasn't the black from the image that we'd made. It's yeah. So we'll uh, we'll get rid of that. So yeah, that's literally all you need to do to give yourself a circular webcam. This is still going to stay big, but yeah, so you can move this to wherever you're going to want it and you can literally just do that. You don't have to have a board around it. You don't have to have an overlay around it. You can literally just leave it like that. That sun is killing my exposure now as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you could just leave it like that. And as I said at the, at the beginning, you can do it as a diamond, a spade, whatever shape you desire that fits in with your theme or what you're trying to do at the time so and the other applications you can have with this as well i know it seems a little bit silly but um i don't know you, you could have your scene set up so it's like a submarine and you can just put yourself into one of the portholes or a rocket ship and put yourself into one of the portholes or i don't i don't know um if you chose a diamond or a spade or a club you could have a pack of playing cards and put yourself into one of the corners of the playing cards you know simple things like that that can be used this application could be quite easily used for but so yeah it's a very simple very easy little trick that just gives you something a little bit different to other people so what we can also do as well I don't know if both will show up at the same time or oh, they will there you go so that's the one we just did and this one over here is basically what you could do with it once it's set up. So you can just make yourself just like a um, an overlay, a circular overlay to go around it. Obviously this is very basic but it's just to give you an example of what you could make it look like once you get it all set up sort of thing. So yeah. Um, I guess that's about it to be honest it's a, it's a pretty short video this time because it's such a simple thing to do and let's just appreciate Roy in stereo hi <laughs> so yeah so guys there you go that's how we make the image masks that's how we apply them that's what we can do with them and how they look so yeah it's that simple so simple no no money cost to you it just improve your stream aesthetics completely for free make it look a little bit different to everyone else's, might maybe give you a little bit of an edge against the competition. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like, possibly subscribe, comment down below what you thought of the video and anything you'd like to see covered in the future. You can also come and check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Twitch is a hit and miss at the moment. I have a, a bit of a weird schedule with my family stuff, but you know, anything you want to come and talk to us, just comment on one of those, join us live. We'll have a little chat, so hopefully, some of you do make some of these masks. Maybe I'll see some of them on Twitch as I'm browsing around. And I guess until next time, keep screaming. <laughs>